Hi everyone. So I wanted to do an update on the video that I made uh, last January um, about my progress uh, doing liver flushing. So I made that video a year and four months ago. We're now 1st of May 2018 and when I made the first video I'd done 15 liver flushes and now I've done 44. So a question I get asked a lot is why I've done so many surely I must have released all my stones now you know um, why am I continuing to do them um, am I continuing to make stones as I go along that kind of thing um, so the first thing really to talk about is that the liver can hold a lot of stones and also it really varies how many stones people pass each time so the liver can hold thousands of stones and really some people, the healthier people, um, often get very dramatic flushes. So I've known people who have um, done, say, 10 flushes and they've been releasing massive amounts of stones, like over several hours uh, time. They've been releasing hundreds and hundreds of stones and they feel great afterwards and that's brilliant. But this video really is for those people like myself who have uh, maybe been chronically ill for years and instinctively feel and know that the liver flush is helping them get better but perhaps at a very slow pace with lots of setbacks um, and they're also encountering flushes that either are not producing very much at all maybe just half a dozen stones some chaff you know um, really not very much or they're releasing nothing. Um, I myself have done nine consecutive flushes over the course of a few months, um, which released absolutely nothing. Um, and not only did they not release anything, but um, each time my symptoms got worse because there was a blockage in the liver that kept get, getting pushed further and further towards the main uh, ducts, the biliary, uh, the, the main bile and cystic ducts, and they would just be pushed by the liver flush. The liver flush would give them a big push, but for whatever reason it wasn't enough and they wouldn't come out, and then they'd just be sitting there, these big stones, um, blocking uh, bile flow and making all my symptoms a hundred times worse. So when I did nine flushes, um, really, by the end of it, I was in a really bad state. All my chronic fatigue, my candida symptoms, uh, my adrenal fatigue symptoms were all really, really bad. I was very cold, very anxious, very depressed, um, felt, you know, really quite awful, very fatigued. Um, and that was you know really bad and, it, and uh, you know a couple of times I've kind of thought you know I can't do this anymore I can't risk um, you know making things worse because you know you have to function I've got a family you know I, I work part-time um, and really just felt very hopeless and turned to lots of different solutions but didn't find the solution that I was looking for but I kept coming back to liver flushing because I knew that when it did work when I did get uh, the material out and I did temporarily clear the liver ducts that everything worked better I felt warmer I felt happier I wasn't crashing all the time I had better energy my mood was good my sleep was good um, you know problems that I'd had, digestion, um, motility, all that kind of thing would improve. So I, I knew I had to keep sticking with it. So anyway, why do people who are chronically ill sometimes find it harder to release um, the stones um, with their flushes? And there's several reasons. So it might be that their stones are very tightly packed together and they're very large. And because there's very little bile flow, um, they are finding it very difficult to get those big stones out. Um, often people who are chronically ill have parasites. So um, the parasites live in the, in the liver um, and sometimes um, the parasites block the ducts, they block 
the main liver ducts, the subsidiary liver ducts, and it's very difficult to um, get the stones out as a result. And the third reason, um, which is definitely the case, my case, is that um, they've got quite a deep rooted candida infection. And what happens is when someone's had candida for a really long time, the organism um, kind of develops this tough extracellular matrix called a biofilm. And it's long been known that certain pathogens, including bacteria and uh, fungal pathogens, can do this. They can mutate and they can develop this very tough, slimy extracellular matrix. Um, and they burrow themselves into the um, intestines and to the liver where the immune system can't get to them, can't attack them, can't you know, get rid of them. And conventional and unconventional antifungals often do not work. Um, and when they do work, if you just carry on throwing antifungals at them for a really long time, eventually candida gets resistant because it's a clever pathogen um, and antifungals will stop working so you have to um, the only thing really that gets rid of um, long deep rooted candida infection um, is the liver flush but as I said before sometimes the liver flush won't work because of the, the nature of the candida infection blocking the ducts. So this has been a very frustrating process I've been doing this now for two years and um, I have released my liver flushes, even when they are successful, quite, you know, quite small. I don't release a lot of stones. I release a few and I often kind of see other people's kind of, you know, success stories and feel a bit envious and feel a bit disappointed because it's taken me two years to get to the stage where, yes, I'm a lot better than I was two years ago, but I'm still not functioning as a normal person. So I still have to take um, medication to help my adrenals. Um, because they are in a state of dormancy. Um, I don't have to take as much medication as I used to, probably about a quarter or a fifth of the amount that I had to two years ago, which is fantastic. So I function a lot more normally. I don't need as much sleep as I did before. I'm not always tired and crashing, but I feel like I still have a long way to go to really improve things. So um, really that's that's the, the the process that it's been for me and um you know for a while i thought well maybe i should just throw loads of antifungals at this you know maybe that's the solution so i tried various different antifungals as i had done before um because i've been on antifungals conventional and uh, non-conventional antifungals for decades but i've only recently really understood that when you do that you create you know a real kind of resistance there you know they 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 can adapt and um, and resist what you throw at them because they're clever um, and so I tried that for a while and I even went to see a traditional Chinese um, herbalist and didn't get very far with that either and I thought well what is the thing that really loosens the congestion what is the thing that really loosens and and moves the stones out and it's bile uh, bile is this wonderful detergent and lubricant and decongestant of the liver, and that is what you need to increase. So with that in mind, I have put together my own uh, program for increasing uh, bile output for the week to 10 days uh, before I do a flush. And that's what I'm going to run past you.